Welcome to our weekly ZTN broadcast. I'm Sabrina Hunter. And I'm Mai Vega. Hey, were you here last year on March 11th? Yeah, isn't it the day that the 9.0 magnitude earthquake struck? Did you know that about 150 other earthquakes happened on the same day? Really? But that wasn't the worst part. Shortly after, a big tsunami hit the Sendai area. In addition, the nuclear reactor exploded and many had to leave their homes. But the helping hand from everyone around the world helped Japan stand once more. Here's our reporter Isis with some interviews from our teens. Are you there, Isis? Yes, I'm here. Hello, oh, my name is Isis, and I'm here with the teen today to interview some teens. Hey, you don't want me to Where were you on March 11th? Um, I was in a my first youth sponsorship sponsorship meeting. Uh, I was at track practice. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I was in school. Well, um, school just um, ended at Arn Elementary, so uh, um, turnover was coming up, so I went to West and gone at shop at. I was at my house, at home. In my house? I was on the bus on my way home to Zara. So what were you doing? Um, well, we were going over how, um, how it is to be new and what it's like when you find out that you're moving to some foreign country and how to make the kid more comfortable with that. Um, we were running laps and we were chilling and stuff. So. And we were grading tests all the time. We were watching TV, me and my mom on the couch. Watching TV? Um, I wasn't really doing anything. I, I think I was reading a book on the bus and everything just started shaking. I saw people coming out of their houses outside. Um, so, who were you with? Um, I was with a lot of people. There was, um, there was a few high schoolers there, and a few middle schoolers, and some elementary schoolers. Um, the whole track team, the soccer teams were there, um, the ROTC people were there, and the whole school, basically. How did you feel about it? I was scared, I guess. It's not a good feeling, I guess. So. I felt scared. Yeah. I didn't know what was going to happen. Well, first I didn't feel anything, but then this, um, the manager said that we had to start getting out, and I was kind of worried on what was going on. I thought somebody just entered the gate or something, so we were all outside, and then I felt this huge shake, and I was kind of terrified because none of my friends were in. It was frightening and kind of exhilarating and exciting because that's got to be the first big earthquake. Mm, I felt a uh, little confused at when it started, but um, I wasn't exactly panicking at the moment. So what did you do after? Um, well, during the earthquake, well, during the earthquake, we didn't realize it was an earthquake. A lot of us just thought we were kind of like dizzy. And then when it got harder, we kind of just went under the table. And then we kind of just, I just started after I called my mom and just made sure that my mom was okay. Asked her if she was able to contact my dad and my brother. So I just made sure my family was okay. Uh, after the earthquake, I stayed at school until 6 because nobody came to pick me up yet. So then I went home and I just went to sleep like I was in the day. I went to the car outside to make sure nothing would fall in the house. Well, I was, I called all my friends first, make sure they were okay. And I was actually happy nobody got hurt. No, nobody I know got a severe injury or anything like that. I went to the food store and, you know, just looked around at the, what happened after. It's crazy. I wanted to ask a few questions on like what happened particularly. I was unsure on like um, specifically what occurred, or, like what were the after effects of what happened because that was the biggest earthquake I've ever experienced. Do you have any last comments? No, I just hope for Japan be better. Oh. Not really. Nothing really but Japan actually and all the other countries stepped in and were so strong. And Survived. 
頑張れ日本頑張れ日本<笑> Good luck Japan 頑張れ日本頑張れ日本頑張れ日本Thank you for the report. Well, the earthquake was definitely scary for me. Me too. I was on a bus when the earthquake occurred. Well, at least you didn't have to run out of a house with bare feet. Bare feet? What were you doing? I was hanging out with my friends, relaxing on my couch. Oh, well, here's information about the youth center. Baseball and softball is coming up, people. Registrations are April 6, 2012, ages 5 to 15. Practice starts April 9th. Remember and don't forget, there are also things going on in the youth center clubs. Miss Mary is in charge of Cooking Club, which is every Thursday. Mr. Fuchs Tech Club is every Wednesday, where youth can have fun with technology. Get Fit, also every Wednesday with Mr. Ernest. Youth will learn the correct way to exercise. Also. ZTN is on Mondays and Thursdays with Mr. Irvin. Back to you guys. Bye. Remember ZTN. Thanks for the report. As you can see, there are many things going on at the Youth Center. And we're having so much fun in ZTN. And if you don't believe us, check out the bloopers at the end. And we'll be right back after this break. I am going to tell you about Skies Unlimited and the programs they offer. One of the programs is Taekwondo classes. This is held on mon Mondays and Thursdays. Hip hop classes are on Tuesdays and on Wednesdays and Thursdays. They are hula, ballet, and dance lessons. We also offer music lessons. They are held on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. For more information, call us at 263-5441. See you! Do you participate in the Skies program? No. Really? I do hip-hop. It's really fun. You should join. Well, if I have the time... Speaking of time... Oh no! That's all we have for this week. Well, from the ZTN crew, have a great week. Bye. 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 Yeah, I was doing it!